Okay, we're live. Hey everybody in Instagram land. We have moved our Thursday night, at least for now. Our Thursday night from Yasa has been moved to Tuesday nights because it's just not the same without Stephen. So <laughs> tonight our focus is going to be on linking our breath to movement the full yogic breath is part of the experience of doing yoga because as you know, if you don't have breath, you don't got yoga. <laughs> so expect tonight to be a long a kind of a flowy practice where we have a lot of movement in and out using the breath and really focusing on breathing as part of our experience. We are inspired this week by the Purnasvara Mudra. So this is an easy mudra to do. Basically, we're just taking our three fingers and kind of lining them up along our thumb and leaving our index fingers out. So this is a mudra that reminds us to fill our whole body with breath, take our time in our breathing, and really use that as our life force in all that we do. So join me at the mat. Find your seated position, either position that works comfortably for you. I'm going to choose my yoga pillow that was made for me by Nova. I think Stephen, do you have one? I do. Yeah, Stephen has one too. We're in the we're in the lucky yoga pillow club. So, oh, I have to let my guest in. Hold on just a minute. Howdy ho! Sorry, I'm late. Not me. Nice to see you. Okay. Now we can start again. Welcoming you to Tuesday Night Yoga. Let's have a seat on the mat. So I invite you to sit nice and tall, drawing the crown of your head up, nice and tall up to the ceiling, opening your energy channel from the base of your spine all the way to the crown of the head. Remembering that we have these seven main chakras, these seven main energy centers, and that within those energy centers, we must keep the channels open so that we can help them be in balance. Taking that mudra that I just showed you, place your hands on top of your thighs, draw your elbows backwards in space, draw your shoulders down and together on your back. Start to inhale through your nose. And as you inhale and exhale, expanding your belly. Inhale. And exhale. Take an inhale. And exhale. Now let's focus on expanding our lower on the next three inhales. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. And on your next three breaths now, I want you to focus on expanding the belly, expanding your ribs, and widening your collarbones as you bring your breath up also to the chest and into your back body. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. We're going to start to link our movement with our breath. And what I would like you to do is initiate your movement with the breath. So we're going to raise our hands up over our heads, but what I want you to do is first inhale and then with your hands. And then exhale them down. Inhale. 
inhale and then bring your hands up. And exhale. Bring them down. Inhale. Hands up. And exhale. Bringing them down. Each time you breathe in and you breathe out, it is with intention. And still, for some reason, I'm not pinned. Let me pin myself on the video again. I don't know how that happened, but I'm not pinned. take that same round of breathing, but we're going to do it from a standing position up at the top of our mats, or maybe at your short side of the mat, however you are oriented. So inhale, bring your hands up. Exhale, bring them down. Inhale, bring your hands up. Inhale, move 
forward into tabletop. Exhale down, chaturanga. Inhale, rise up into low cobra. And then exhale, moving back into child's pose. Let's do that one more time. I love this linking breath with movement. Inhale, up to tabletop. Exhale, down, chaturanga. Inhale, rise up into low cobra. Exhale, moving back into child's pose. Let's do a little bit of a twist. Inhale, and bring your right hand underneath your left arm. Exhale as you engage in the twist, drawing your hips a little bit to the right. We're just still warming up our back.
Let's go back and take that plank again. Take a nice inhale. Exhale, lower Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale into Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, tucking your toes. Move back into Downward Facing Dog. And now we're going to repeat what we just did on the left side. Inhale, bring your left leg up as high as you want. Exhale, bring knee to nose. Inhale, bring your foot up as high as you want. Exhale, bring left knee to left elbow. Inhale, bring your foot all the way up. Exhale, cross the body, twist to the right. Left knee to right elbow. Inhale, bring your leg all the way up. Exhale, knee to nose. Bring it all the way through. Rise up on Janayasana. Exhale, bend your left leg more deeply, sinking your hips. Take a nice inhale. Exhale, take your hands down and bring your torso over your left leg, keeping your heart center up. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, moving forward, bring your hands back like you're flying. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bringing your hands behind you like you're flying. And then inhale, rise up again. Exhale, circle your hands down on either side of your left foot. Take your right foot to join the left. Inhale into your flat spine. Exhale down. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Now we're going to do that same thing. Now we're going to do a chair. <laughs> I like to add on the fun. Inhale, our hands up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Sit back like you're sitting in that imaginary chair. Fingertips to the floor. Inhale, your hands up. Exhale, bring them behind you like you're flying. Sinking low into your chair. Inhale, rise your hands up. Exhale, bringing them back like you're flying. Inhale, bring your hands up. One more time back. And then inhale, bring your hands up. Continue to stand up. Exhale, your hands down. Bring your hands to heart center. Take a nice breath. And exhale. Inhale, bring your hands up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Hands to the ground, drop your crown. Inhale into a flat spine. Exhale, hands down to the floor. Moving back into Chaturanga a day, maybe. Again, I mean, switch your feet as you move them back, unless you want to jump. Take a nice inhale. Exhale, lower Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale into upward facing dog or cobra. Take a nice inhale. Exhale, bring your hips back in space. Moving into downward facing dog. Take a nice inhale. Exhale, push your hips back. Inhale. Exhale, bring them back. One more inhale. Exhale, moving your hips back. Inhale, bring your right foot forward in between your hands and open up. Warrior two, use the breath on the exhale to sink your hips by bending your right leg more deeply. Take an inhale and straighten out your right leg. Exhale, bend it deeply into that warrior two. Inhale, straighten out the right leg. Exhale, bending it deeply. One more inhale, straighten out the leg. Exhale, bending it deeply. And then on the inhale, move back into a peaceful warrior. On your exhale, sweep your right arm across your body and down as you bring your left arm overhead into a modified side angle. Inhale, rising up. Bring your right hand up to the ceiling as you bring your left hand down to your leg. Exhale, bringing your right hand down. Left hand long side or overhead, left arm alongside your left ear. Inhale, rise up into 
that peaceful warrior. Exhale, going back into that modified side angle. Inhale, rise up into warrior two. Exhale, fully. Inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down on either side of your right foot. Bring your right foot back to join your left and take a nice inhale. Exhale, lower chaturanga dandasana. Inhale into upward facing dog. Exhale, moving down or back to downward facing dog. Take a nice inhale. Exhale, push your hips back in space. Inhale. Exhale, pushing your hips back. One more inhale. Exhale, push your hips back. Inhale, your left leg up. Exhale, bringing it in between your hands and rising up again to warrior two. So you're going to see the back end of my body as we do this. Inhale, straighten out your left leg. Exhale, bend it deeply into warrior two. Inhale, straighten it out. Exhale, bending it deeply. Inhale, straighten it out. Exhale, bending it deeply. One last time, inhale, straighten. Exhale, returning to warrior two legs. Inhale, your left hand up as you drop your right hand. Exhale, swoop your left hand down as you bring your right hand overhead in this modified side angle. Inhale, bring the left hand up, right hand down. He's a peaceful warrior. Exhale, bringing the left hand down, bringing the right hand overhead alongside your right ear. Inhale, bringing your left hand up. To one final exhale as we go into that side angle. Inhale, rise up into warrior two. Take a nice inhale. And then exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Left foot back to join your right. Inhale. Exhale, lower chaturanga dandasana. And inhale into upward facing dog. Exhaling into downward facing dog. Let's do something different and fun. Take a nice inhale. Exhale, push our hips back. Inhale, drop our knees to just above the floor. Inhale, bring them back into warrior two. Downward facing dog. Exhale, moving forward like you're going into plank. Drop your knees, but don't touch the floor. And then exhale, move back into downward facing dog. One more time at that. Dropping your knees just slightly, hovering above the floor. And then bring them back. Bring your hips back. And then for the final one, exhale. Drop your knees. And let's move into hero on the exhale. Ha! Ah. Maybe just take a moment to connect with your breath if you've lost any connection with it. Face our legs. 
pivot our knee backwards. And let's just do a runner stretch while we're here. So half Hanumanasana, drawing your hips back, lifting your toes off the floor, facing your right foot, and just drawing your heart center towards your foot. You don't have to worry about bridging the gap. We're just getting a nice, beautiful, long stretch of our right hamstring. Continue to engage in nice, full yogic breaths while you're in this pose. Toes on the right side. 
forward, shifting your weight over to the right, and tilting your left toes up. Ah, and then let's move back into that yogi squat again, that garland pose.
my left leg to really go far behind me, lifting up my heart center at the same time. Come on, let's do some of that undulating again. So inhale your heart up, keeping your hands on the floor, bend your elbows outward as you exhale down. Inhale, rise up, draw your shoulder blades together. Exhale, bringing your elbows out and down as you bring your heart center forward and down. Inhale, rising up, drawing your shoulder blades together, lifting up your heart center. Exhale, bring your elbows out as you bring your heart center out and down. Let's inhale one more time up. And then on your exhale, if you choose to, go ahead and lay across your right leg. Thank you. 
slide. 